Longwood sweeps fine, should be four. Well played, Paul Collingwood. It's going to be tough work for Shane Warne, given that it's day one here at Melbourne, a lot of moisture around. Already established the, the coolness of the day, the fingers are probably not working as well, ripping the ball as much as they would in a warmer day. And uh, Collingwood, in particular, willing to play shots. Cover Pontigins is in there and he doesn't drop them. Uh, another excellent piece of bowling from Shane Warren. He really did toss that ball up. Got it above the eye line. Of Reed couldn't help himself. Hit it pretty well. And hit it straight to Ricky Ponting. And that's not a good place to hit them. Excellent pair of hands. Reed departs for three. England now six for 135. Gone for it, and it's out straight down the throat of Clark. Warren's got three, what a performance. Threw it up, Harmison fell for the three-card trick, and Warren on the first day has got three. He just got it wide enough so that Harmison had to drag it. Ideally, Harmison had hit straight. He hits quite well in the air straight. He, previous over, we saw that against Glenn McGrath. But he's fetching it, isn't he? Oh, dear. The frustration continues, but the smile is on the face of the master. It's eight for one, four, five. Shane Warne continues. Ah! Ask the question. Well, despite the cold, the rain and the wind, second biggest crowd ever, the MCG in a test match. The biggest ever on Boxing Day. Eighty-nine thousand one hundred and fifty-five. The record's ninety-eight hundred. That was on day two, way back in uh, nineteen sixty-one. It's gone for it. Hit down the ground. He could be out. He should be out. He is out. Warren gets four. Can he get five? Simon takes the catch. Beautiful bowling. He showed up. Peterson went for Shane Warren has four. And it took some catching. Andrew Simons had another fielder who was coming round from the sort of widish long on to think about. The ball went up and came down almost with snow on it, and Simons made it look unbelievably easy. Longish straight boundary. Peterson worries the minute he hits it, but the balance and the control, and look at the base he forms to make the catch. Look where the ball is taken, right where the eyes are. That is a fantastic fielder at his very best. Peterson has gone a wasted opportunity for such a talented player. 21 he made. It's nine for 146. Ah! Cricket close, very close. No, says the umpire. Yes, says Warney. Crowd boo. Played edge. What do you say, Rudy? Well, Warren was livid, really livid. No histrionics there, just a face of fire. But that being turned down, and uh, maybe it hit him outside the line of off stump, actually. 
and spinning a long way as well. The elbow up and playing some nice looking shots. He's hit that all right, but straight to Andrew Simons at mid on. And that will be a five wicket haul for Shane Warne. His 37th five wicket haul. His 11th against England. And more importantly, it's here on Boxing Day at the MCG. And it's in his second last test match. And in that five wicket haul was his 700th test match wicket. Well bowled Shane Warne. to do it all today, but uh, you can never keep him out of the game. every Ashes moment live. And this is like the days of Lillian Thompson. Oh, how about it? How about it? Buy your live pass at cricket.com.au slash subscribe.